Hello, welcome to GW Becker Incorporated. I'm Chris Becker, the president. With me here on the floor is a top running double girder crane getting ready for a factory acceptance test by the customer. So we wanna take this opportunity to highlight some of our features and benefits of our equipment. Um, what you see here is a 20 ton crane as I said, top running double girder, about 70 foot span, and it's built to CMAA specifications, class D as in David, duty cycle. Um, it features a custom GW Becker trolley hoist, has a full length foot walk along the drive girder or the G1 girder here, along with unitized control panel with the main crane disconnect. Uh, it features variable frequency, travel motion drives along with the vector hoist control drive and also a radio remote control system of, of the customer's and user's preference along with a motor driven siren as an audible warning device. We have a standardized line of componentry that we use to design and assemble the cranes to our customers specifications and needs. What we see here is a hollow shaft mounted a4 type bridge drive has an integral uh, motor gearbox and brake at each end of the bridge and mounted with a heavy duty torque arm here as well. Also the customer wanted uh, individual lube points piped to common accessible areas so um, we've done that over to accommodate access from the G1 foot walk. As you see later on we've also done that on the trolley hoist. This was a repeat order for a customer who had smaller capacity cranes. They needed to increase the capacity in this aisle. So we ended up going from a four wheel design on earlier units to a, a larger eight wheel design bridge to spread out the, the uh, wheel loading along the runway. So what you see here is a compensating style eight wheel bridge arrangement with this uh, flexible end tie system in here that can pivot. These are our heavy duty tube style end trucks uh, that we fabricate and machine in house along with uh, rotating axle type wheel assemblies in uh, st steel bearing caps with spherical roller bearings. For the trolley conductor system we have uh, festoon cable system along with a backup pendant system to be used in emergency operation. It features a quick disconnect plug for the pendant so it can be removed and then placed in operation uh, rather quickly. What we're taking a look here is our standard GW Becker trolley hoist arrangement. It features a, in this particular case, a commercial gearbox with a drum coupling to a fully machined um, double reeved left and right hand groove drum with flame hardened grooves. Uh, this 20 ton unit has a foot mounted motor, flexible coupling, uh, and has a AC disc brake on the back of the motor. A lot of times we'll have a configuration with a brake wheel for people that desire a shoe brake, either on the input shaft between the motor and the gearbox or an extension of the high speed uh, pinion shaft. We also have the availability to do dual shoe brakes for more demanding applications. Everything is mounted, all the componentry is mounted as you can see on a, a deck frame that is fa welded fabrication and then fully machined for the gearbox and the motor as well as the upper block componentry. We also feature a um, hardened shiv grooves on the upper block al along with a fully swiveling equalizer shiv arrangement. The unit has two upper hoist limit switches both in the control circuit. We have a, a weighted unit that's actuated by the lower block along with a rotary limit switch that's on the tail end of the drum for both upper and lower limits. Again, this trolley hoist features um, an A4 type drive arrangements with an integral motor, gearbox, and brake 
on a torque arm arrangement. Some other features that I just wanted to point out as well, we're using AI, ASCE rail sections that are welded to the top of the girder using weld down clips. Um, also, if you notice in the gearbox is fully chalked to prevent movement. Um, some extra precautions that we take. Some special features of this unit at the end of the control panel, the customer wanted a, a full main crane disconnect, which typically we wouldn't see on a, a unit of this size, but again, we're able to customize to exactly what the operation and maintenance staff at this facility wants to see. Uh, we feature energy absorbing bumpers on the bridge and the trolley. After assembly, we uh, affix permanent squaring marks, so any time during the life of the unit, can be, uh, squareness can be checked uh, via diagonal, so it gives us peace of mind here. So one extra quality step that we go into here at GW Becker. We feature OSHA required clearance in front of our electrical panels. We have a rigid uh, hand railing and intermediate system along with the tow kick, kick board. This unit has a checkered floor plate, but we can also do uh, expanded metal or bar grating as the application uh, sees fit. Uh, we also have a, at the far end a self-closing boarding gate so maintenance personnel can access the, access the crane from a man lift or the end of the aisle and we can customize that to the uh, facility's boarding needs. This is a good shot of the application specific drum coupling. Uh, it's a gear flex type style specifically for loading of these drums and it features a wear indicator so um, it's externally accessible and it gives you a visual indicator of uh, potential wear in that drum coupling. This unit features a welded plate box girder, had some rather stringent um, physical criteria. The unit uh, I mentioned earlier was an increased capacity on the same runway. So we had an overhead restriction that we had to accommodate along with a large machine that was under the crane. So we had a uh, underside obstruction that we had to clear. So rather tight parameters. Um, something of note, uh, all of our welders here at GW Becker are AWS 14.1 certified or qualified. And we do have third party uh, NDT testing of our uh, splice welds is required by CMAA.